Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky. So, since the new Slayer monster came out, I had to make a guide on that. I haven't actually logged on to RS until about an hour ago in a few days, but there is a new Slayer monster, and so I had to go check it out because, you know, I am the Slayer guy. But anyway, my voice is going to sound kind of messed up because of reasons, so just, I guess, bear with me here. Um, so, the new monster is called Aeritz. You need number level 92 slayer to kill them um, and I'd highly recommend having at least dragors if you have anything lower like chaotic weapons uh, you can still kill them it's just gonna be a lot less accurate and also I'd highly 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 recommend to have a yak because their bones are worth a lot uh, and you want to be banking those if you don't mind taking bank trips though and you just have a war tortoise that's okay too um, although the Eretz can also kill your war tortoise so just keep that in mind but anyway uh, on the home page Jagex said that these monsters are really strong and you need high armor and crap to kill them don't believe them that's not true at all so in the yak you just want a lot of prayer potions and in your inventory a lot of prayer potions as well overloads uh, prayer renewals and then I just have a few emergency food but you can pretty much soul split back all your health and you also want a charm collector yak scrolls and a teleport out but um, if it is your first time coming you might want to put a few extra food in your yak and if you're pretty experienced you can uh, stock up for an even longer trip this is only an hour and a half trip that I have supplies for but anyway, uh, it, you can kill them in the Curdell's Dungeon if you are on task, and if you're not on task, you have to go to the Piscatoris Fishing Colony, uh, which is just the Fairy Ring code. Um, it's something. I know that it's in here somewhere. <laughs> I'm just not exactly sure. So I guess other information that you might want to know, there are 350k combat XP per hour. Um, that is attack, strength, or defense, and constitution XP, or hit points XP. Um, so that's how much combat XP you'll get an hour. There are about 130,000 Slayer XP per hour if you are on task, and if you are, I'd recommend killing them in the Curdles Dungeon just because it's not so crowded. Um, they're surprisingly uncrowded right now. There's plenty of spawns around for about four people to camp happily here. But anyway, um, they do have one special attack that can do quite a bit of damage, but their regular attacks are nothing to worry about. I'm not even going to overload here because... Um, I'm not going to stay here for very long, but the main problem with these things is your accuracy. You definitely want to be overloaded and using um, turmoil as well. I'm using turmoil and soul split because if you're not using both of those, it's just going to take a long time to kill them. And also the same thing if you don't have dragors, it's going to be really inaccurate. So this is their special attack. They pound their chest, and after they do that, they hit like 1,000s against you pretty often. So how you can counteract that special attack is uh, one of two ways. If you're meleeing, you can use the ability flurry which I believe is under the attack abilities let me check here yeah it's this one flurry it's a threshold ability under the attack abilities or if you're ranging you can use the ability rapid fire which is this one right here um, and those two things will stun them and stop them from attacking and I just got a, uh, a mask which is kinda handy even though I already had that part I did not know you could get duplicates but anyway um, yeah they're very very easy to kill you can wear better armor if you want you won't take as much damage obviously since I'm not overloaded right now I'm not hitting as accurately and not healing up as well and uh, also if you're wearing a Slayer Helm you're gonna hit quite a bit more accurately as well but here comes their special attack as w again and you need to actually hit with the flurry ability you need to d deal damage to them and that will stun them and uh, stop their special attack but obviously it's pretty hard to deal damage uh, when you're not overloaded like I am but anyway um, yeah, just these are a great Slayer task because they're quite a bit of money. And uh, their main drops, other than just their regular stuff, is they drop quite a bit of like crimson and blue charms, so that's pretty good. And of course, the uh, the new melee gloves that I forget what they're called. I guess the final thing that I know about these monsters, I, you got to realize I've only been killing them for an hour, is they use both melee and range attacks. So when they're meleeing, they will stand upright and punch you, and when they're ranging, they'll be on all fours and kind of like headbutt you, and somehow that equates to a range attack. I'm not really sure how, but it's Jagex logic. Um, but anyway, when you're when they're doing the range attack, they're much easier to hit because melee attacks are more accurate against range monsters and when they're doing their melee attack they're much more difficult to hit and you'll be less accurate but anyway I'm gonna show you guys the drops that I got from killing these things for one hour so you can see for yourself whether you want to kill them or not and just keep in mind I didn't get any of the gloves uh, the new gloves that they drop and I imagine those new gloves are gonna be worth quite a bit um, 
And if you do get some of those gloves, you'll obviously make a lot more money than I did. But anyway, just keep in mind, I did not get the no gloves. But if you camp there for a long time, you can also factor in um, how much money you'd get for the gloves as well as part of the money you'll earn. So this is the loot from my one hour of killing Eretz. So I got 130 kills an hour, which wasn't the best because, of course, it was my first time ever killing them. It took me about 10 minutes to figure out the special attack because I'm tired. But anyway, um, so I did get two of the Tusca mask pieces. Uh, there's five total, and once you get all five of them, you get a ton of combat XP. At least that's what it said on the, uh, the Jagex homepage. So I'm not exactly sure how much XP they give, but I'm sure it's a fair amount. Um, but anyways, these are actually going to be pretty good money. Um, so about 3.2 mil an hour. Of course, there are things that are better money an hour, but since these things are so easy to kill, if you have 92 Slayer and you want to, I guess, try to get some of those new gloves, I'm not exactly sure how much they're worth, but the Razorback Gauntlets, I'm sure they're worth at least 20 mil or so. Um, it might be worth camping them and seeing if you could get some. Anyway, that's about all for this video. Thanks for watching, and farewell.